Two ball clubs, one division. It's the Minnesota Twins against the Chicago White Sox. Next on 2K Sports. Welcome everybody. 2K Sports presents Major League Baseball Thursday afternoon with Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, and John Crunk. Kevin Slowey, he'll be on display pitching in our ball game. U.S. Cellular Field on the south side in Chicago with the White Sox. And it'll be the right-hander, Eric Bedard, our starting pitcher. So, Steve, how's he going to handle these Minnesota bats today? Well, veteran left-hander Eric Bedard out on the mound. He's been hampered by injuries in recent past, but when he's healthy, he's productive. Quality, command of the fastball, outstanding breaking pitch, and a feel for the changeup. As a hitter, you have to be ready for all the different pitches. Here's a look at Ron Gardenhire's lineup presented by Pepsi. Now, Twins losing their last game. And uh, after that losing in game one, time to try and salvage this three game set against the White Sox. Well, they hit a little bit of a mini skid here right now. They've dropped their last three games. Ball! Let's that breaking ball go outside for ball one. These skids are okay if you can keep them in the mini department. They just don't want it to go on much longer. Well, you're exactly right. The thing is, as these things progress, you start pressing a little bit, trying to play too hard. Stay within yourself, and a win will come. Fastball just misses. He runs it to 3 0. Career average 337 off the White Sox. Span makes good contact. Rios will field. As he moves over, he puts it away. Short left. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. Highlight Steve for these fielders. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And it's Delman Young now. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Beckham. So Young is retired. Here's what the White Sox schedule looks like. They'll wrap up this series with Minnesota today. Following that, they face Miguel Cabrera series at home against the Tigers. That's a team they beat pretty soundly the last time around. That's a three game series. Then they'll kick off a road series with the Oakland A's. That's a team they handled all right the last time up. They'll try for a repeat performance. Wins will not come easy over the next stretch of games. That one is swung on and missed. Big cut by Maurer evens it up. Back up the middle. And Ramirez feels the ball. Throws on the first side is retired. Nothing doing here in this half inning. And the White Sox, their first chance is coming. And out on the mound, we'll see Kevin Slowey. Minnesota has him started. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. Now the good right-handed pitcher on the mound right here facing this lineup that can score some runs. It's going to be critical for him to keep the ball down in the zone and pitch to his capabilities. If he does that, he should have success. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, will cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Now, if you saw the game last night, you saw what a disappointing day he had at the plate, striking out three times in that one. Let's see if he can turn it around today. Here's a swing and a line drive. And he's on. That's a nice way to jumpstart your offense. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, the potential's there for Alex Rios to be a productive hitter. So let's see if he can provide some offense for his team today because they're going to need it. Ramirez batting now. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. We'll take a moment here to show you how the Twins will stack up on defense. So, Steve, any individual stand-up? Well, Joe Maurer behind the plate can really handle the pitching staff. He also has a very good throwing arm. That's uncommon for a guy six foot five with such a long delivery. And Paul Canerco to bat. He's the league leader in ribbies. Slow he gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. 
day in and day out, that consistency oh. is critical to their success. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. And a little break in the action. Let's feel the leaderboard at RBIs, courtesy of State Farm. Oh, these are the kind of guys that decide games right here. They thrive on situations with runners on base to come up and deliver, and they have been getting it done. Runner on second, RBI opportunity for Carlos Quinton, leading the MLB in batting average. the pitch this is swung on lifted to deep right field and that ends the half inning as span makes the play so they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score still scoreless in Chicago and here's Michael Kadai first baseman number five Michael Kadai Bedard gets set and delivers up the middle what a tremendous catch right there. I mean, what a great effort getting to that ball, making that catch. Kubel. And Kubel's in the box. One out, nobody on. Strike one. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. He makes contact, line drive, and it's caught by Ramirez. There's no justice in this game. If you hit it that hard, you should get a base hit, but he hit it right at the shortstop, and unfortunately, he's back to the dugout. And it's Hardy batting. Hit sharply towards the hole. Gets through. That's the team's first hit. Chance here to check out the team batting leaders, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. Second, the Yankees. The Red Sox, third. The Orioles, fourth. And we've got the Twins, who are number five. Now, two of the better hitting teams in the game right here matching up. Guys that know how to put the ball in play. It really points to the fact that they use the whole field and that they can hit any pitch thrown up there. And he takes a strike on that fastball. 1-1. One, one. A good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Hit in the air to left center. Damon. And that's out number three. Well, that was a quick inning right there. Seven pitches. Minnesota still looking for the bats. And Beckham's in the box. Second baseman. Number 15, Jordan Beckham. Swing liner back up the middle. That should be a base hit. Coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this Number inning to get on base. And you know, you, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. Here's a runner on for Alex Rios. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the lead. Hot shot towards the hole. And that's going to be a base hit for Rio. Now the State Farm leaderboard. The batters stacking up with hits this month. Number 12, A.J. Just to drive it around, A.J. Przinski. One of the best batting averages in the league. Slowy with the pitch. He swings on that 0-0 delivery. Misses the fastball. Strike one. He deals. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Always good coming off a three-hit game the night before. and Gives you some confidence coming into today's game. Able to set him down there. Chalk that one up as a strikeout for him. Well, he gets the first out of the inning right there. Now let's see if he can continue to bear down, work his way out of this jam, and keep the score tied. Joe Crady looks to knock in a run. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you got to be very patient with it. You can't be over anxious. You got to stay back. And then when you see it good enough, let it fly. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Greedy will lean in on that zone now. The hitter now needs to protect the plate. Think about going right back up the middle. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching. 
Number K Cam's going to show us a good look of this slider. Well, you'll see this thing get tracked to the lower corner of the plate. It looked like the batter thought he had this one, but in the end, it was just too much for him to handle. And uh, not the way he was looking to end that at bat, John. And Jim Tomey, right there in the top five in home runs. Here's the pitch. Now, boom, they got a chance here to gain a base. And they'll just have to set on this one so everybody's safe. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And it's in there. Should score the runner. Situations repeating themselves here. A chance to produce, and they are. Johnny Damon. Well, you love the approach right there. He didn't try to do too much. Wasn't trying to be the hero. Just get that RBI and get that first run on the board. First pitch on the way to Damon. There's a swing and a smash. And it's going to be Young. And that one's put away to retire the side. Getting things going early. They get a run in the second. The White Sox are out in front. One to nothing. Alexei Garcia leading it off. Second baseman. Number 25. Alexi Casilla. On the ground to short. And Ramirez feels the ball. And Casilla is retired. Third base. Shortstop makes a nice play right here, Gary. Good feet at that position. Gets the easy out at first. Punto at the plate. A career 268 hitter against the White Sox. Bedard gets set and delivers. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. On the ground to short. Fielded by Ramirez. Over to Canerco. Two retired here. And it's Denard Span. Now if you're watching the ball game last night, you saw him pick up a couple of RBIs. First pitch to Span. That misses inside 1 0. Here's Bedard with a 1 0 pitch. There's a swing, fly ball down the line and left. And the side's retired. Damon catches it as he heads in. No runs, no hits, nobody across the plate in this half. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in runs scored, top five. And Ramirez settles in first pitch. There's a swing and a liner. Streak continues. That gets in. Well, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Third most in hits, fourth in batting average, and in the power numbers there as well. He's also ranked in the top five in home runs, so among the more elite power hitters in the league. And he starts Canerco out. Smash towards the middle, and he cannot cut it off. This one rolls through to the wall. Ramirez around third, headed for the plate, and they tag him close at home. He wanted that run, he didn't get it. And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. When you're a hitter and you see that ball boring in on you on the inside part of the plate, all you can do is hope to get some piece of bat on it to get that hit. He got jammed. Fought it off, but a great piece of hitting. Oh, Slow, he gets him to swing and miss for a strike. When you say ground ball, that's what that sinker down of the zone is meant to do. Here's the delivery. Swing and a line drive. And he's on now. That's going to be another hit for him. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Well, that's three consecutive hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just has to bear down and get somebody out. They don't want to go to the bullpen this early in the game. And Beckham's in the box. They said his last time. Good effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. Get 
Kevin Slowey, strike two. See if he goes right at him. Uh, great stuff from the pitcher. Now he's ahead 0-2. He can go in so many different directions. Here's one. Hit very well deep. And it's going to be Young. But Erko's going to try and score here. And Kaderko will score. Well, clearly he would have loved to have found a hole out there, but at least in making this out, on the pitch over the heart of the plate, he did something right by advancing the run. Now we'll see if they can take advantage of that and get that run home. And he starts Rios out. Swing shoots this one towards the gap, right center. And he'll take an extra base on this one. It's rolling towards the wall. Clinton around third, headed for the plate. And he will score. Great base run. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Well, I was already to mark this down on the card as a double and put another line in there. Well, he didn't let up at all, Gary. Great effort on his part. Took a chance, but he made it. Amazing thing is, he was able to do it standing up. It's going to be Brzezinski. Well, the direction here, Steve, for this lineup to stay in charge. Right now they are. Boy, so many quality of bats for this offense. The pitcher has to make a pitch here and slam this door shut or this could get away from him. And there's Young for out number three. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. White Sox up three. None other than Ozzie. That's Ozzie Keehan. They've been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. The guard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Well, Gary, they really can't seem to mount any offense at all. I mean, one hit through four innings, and you know you really have to look at your approach at the plate. And it's 0-2 in the Camarilla cutter. Delman Young, he'll be swinging at anything close. All the pressure on the hitter right now. He knows that he has to protect the plate in order not to strike out. And Young's got himself a single. So that brings up Joe Mauer. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in ERA. Their pitching staff getting it done better than everybody else right now. You limit the run scored, you give yourself a chance to win. Swung on, liner to right. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, all pitchers are taught to keep the ball down in the strike zone. Not too many hitters can go down and get one right there in that particular spot. But this guy absolutely loves that pitch. That's why he's on base. And it's Michael Kadaya in the box now. Lifetime 289 off the White Sox. And Eric Bedard delivers strike two. He's in control in this AB. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in. First strike. He can't connect on that one. Michael Kadaya comes up empty on that swing. Boy, that was a great spot for a K early in the ball game, but a chance to get a run in. And it keeps that runner over at second base. When you have an opportunity to score runs, you got to take advantage. They didn't do it. This could hurt him. The second for one. Decides not to try for the double play, hangs onto it. RBI chance, J.J. Hardy looking to make contact. He's one for one so far. Bedard gets set and delivers. There's a swing in contact. This one to Damon. And it's in there. The Minnesota Twins will score. So the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. And Friday's batting. You freak back into ball games when you're at this stage of it, and right now that's what they're doing. Uh, Gary, he got some good wood on that last hit. Put it in play. Now he's closing the gap right here. See if they can make up this difference. As Gene McDaniels used to say, just chip, chip, chip it away. And that's what you want to do in these kind of games. And it holds at 0 and 2. Change up, takes it for a called third strike. That's going to end the inning. So they scratch across a run, three hits, and a couple left on. The Twins are making progress. They have cut into this lead.
a crisp day here at the ball yard. Temperatures might be dropping a bit later on towards the evening. First pitch to Creedy. Slow, he gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Well, he was way behind on that one. Must have been looking for something else. Here's a swing and a line drive. And the catch by Casilla. Now the State Farm leaderboard. Who has the power of bats this month? Well, this is a list of hitters that strikes fear in the opposition pitching. They have to because they know with one swing of the bat, they can change the score of the game. And Jim Tomey. What a year for him. Top five in homers. A smash between short and third. Out number two. Courtesy of State Farm. Here's a look at the American League wild card race. Getting close to the wire now. Yankees in first place. The Mariners second place. Orioles third place. In fourth place it's the Royals. Fifth place the Rays. And down at the bottom the Texas Rangers. What a great race we have with the American League wild card right now. And, you know, it's been interesting, but wild card teams have had great success in the postseason in the past. So one of these teams has a chance to really make a run to the World Series. Hit sharply towards the hole. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. Well, the last thing you want to do is have a quick inning. That two out hit right there will prolong the inning. Great piece of hitting. And one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. Slowly so gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. now. He's coming off of a game last night, a little bit disappointing. A couple of strikeouts, and he just expanded the strike zone and chased pitches off the plate. The left center, and it's starting to head out towards the wall. He's thinking extra bases. Good offensive chance here. Number 14, Paul Conecco. That's a really good pitch, Steve, and an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. And it's Paul Conecco now. He leads the American League and runs batted in. Pitch on the way. Line drive fouled off towards first. A smash to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. They get two men in scoring position. Couple of hits. Can't get them home, though. We're through. Alexei Casilla leading it off. Second baseman, number 25, Alexei Casilla. And Przinsky calls for the pitch. Casilla makes contact and fouls it away. No balls, one strike. Here's Bedard. Swung on and a grounder to first. And out number one as he steps on the base. Bundo at the plate. Ground out victim last time through. Here's the first one. He fouls that one off. This one's grounded to second. Back up. Over to Canerco. Two away. It looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Well, any throw, the key part of it is footwork, and he had good footwork right there. And that's a major league play right there. Ground ball towards the second baseman. Back up. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. No hits. Somebody left on. And a good defensive half in it. The White Sox. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crock and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's the league leader in hits. Slow, he gets him to swing and miss for a strike. The pitch. There's a swing high and deep into center field. Way, way back there. Out 
out of here. Goodbye, home run. Putting a little padding on the lead. Solo shot up by three. There's not a lot of guys playing today that can hit one that far and straight away center field. Williams once asked McGuire, do you smell it burning when you do that? I think there was some uh, wood burning on that one. White Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Second base. Number 15, Jordan Beckham. First pitch to him. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. Yeah, we, we talk about how a hit or a home run can be critical at certain points in the ball game. You just saw it. Uh, now you have to wonder how long the manager is going to stick with this pitcher as he's given up the lead. And that one is in there, his second hit today. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. And one of the top ten averages right now. Alex Rios. And he starts Rios out. Swung on and ripped towards second. There'll be more coming your way next Wednesday. We'll see Torrey Hunter and the Los Angeles Angels. They play host to the Texas Rangers. It'll be a live broadcast starting at 3.30 Eastern. Good offensive chance here. Oh, he's having some kind of season this year, Gary. Really the guy leading this team's offense and some kind of offensive production. It's going to be Przinski. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. He's out. And there's one. And two. They pull off the double play. Getting up to the plate for the Chicago White Sox. Third and we've got Jose Maharas on the mound as they make the pitching swap. Garrett, I tell you, I probably would have let this starter go a little bit longer. I mean, better safe than sorry, but why burn the bullpen this early in the game if you don't have to? Save them, keep them fresh, make them right for the end of the game. And that will bring a run in. Boy, this lineup, they are hot right now. The chances, they are productive. Number 27, Jim Kelby. How perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. And Jim Tomey. And they've not had to struggle here at the plate in this game. They're just keep right. building on this lead. Well, now they're putting some distance between themselves and their opponent. With it, bats like that, keep tacking on the runs and pulling away. On the way. Right and down. that's a strike. Tomey is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. What they're looking for right here is to keep this offense rolling now, get this going. Well, that's right. I mean, they've got it rolling now, oh. Gary, and you want to continue to lump these quality at bats together, keep tacking on runs, create that margin, protect your pitchers. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed, side retired. And they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. The White Sox, four run lead. delivery to Young a shot up the middle and in there he's two for three today now so that brings up Joe Mauer here's how the Central and Division is shaping seven. up late going it's brought to you by State Farm first place the White Sox second place the Royals in third the Indians in the fourth spot it's the Twins and rounding out the list the Tigers he singled in his last at bat no one out and a runner on first and Maurer ready for the first pitch. Right and Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Here it comes. Straight and down. that's a strike. Maurer now will cover that plate with that big bat. Now that he's gotten the four seamer down and in, oh. look for him to go outside now. Oh. 
Swung on, line softly, left side. And that'll put Maurer on first base. Now Great opportunity for Minnesota. First base. 0 oh, 2 count, so you protect a pitch that's up, so a little easier to do that. Absolutely, you can fight it off, punch it over the infielder's head that time. That one swung on its line. One away, and that keeps the runners at first and second. Here's Jason Kubel, looks to bring that runner in. Always a marvel to watch. You just know the opportunity for him to put the ball in play is there anytime he's at the plate. And Eric Bedard delivers strike two. He's in control in this A.B. Now that he's established the strike zone. Swing soft liner towards right center. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. And Young's home. So Minnesota continues their offense. Shortstop number one, J.J. Hardy. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. Nice reflexes there to keep that one under control. That one was in the dirt. Let's the 1-0 pitch go by. 1-1. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball. Pounding the strike zone. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's 1-2. and two. That one's drilled to short. And he's trying to make the play. So Hardy is set down. And they bring him home. Well, the infield back there, the shortstop's the only play was to throw to first base and allow the run to score. Big time players live for these moments like this, Gary. What they want to do now, get this ball game tied up and then swung on, grounded towards the hole. Throws to first in time. That's three down. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. The Twins are making progress. They have cut into this. And there's the skipper, Ron Gardenhire. He wants offense, and he wants his pitching to shut the door, too. Two runs back. He needs a little of each. And it's Johnny Damon. Top five AL in runs scored. And so Damon retired. That's one down. And it's Alexei Ramirez now. One away. Great season. Top ten in RBI. Pitch swings lines this one back up the middle, and so Ramirez retired. And Paul Canerco to bat leads the division in RBIs. Two outs and nobody on. And he starts Canerco out. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Oh, that one in the dirt. Good play by the catcher. Kept it in front of him. Strike two with a swing and a miss and a fastball. I saw the ball well last night, picking up two base hits in that game. And Paul Canerco strikes out. Could not make contact. In, out of the inning. Six pitches and it's over. White Sox five. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne, along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Now Brzezinski sets up. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. Uh, here in seventh inning right now, nobody out. This is the time to get things going. You're down two runs. Make up the ground right now. Don't wait. You know, the pressure mounts. Plus, you get late in the game, you're going to see their best reliever coming in. This is the time to do it. A swing and a batted ball. Damon, that gets down. The tying run coming up. Boy, I don't know when that count, Steve. Number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that where it was. You're right. On an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. Well, the hitter didn't like that one, but that's a strike. He hit the inside corner up in the zone. Got to swing the bat. Still 0-2. Pitch on the way. Strike three called on the fastball. Run away. Well, 90 miles per hour on the gun, but still not much movement. Couldn't pull the trigger. He couldn't even get it started. 
came right back with another fastball, John. Well, you see him go fastball, fastball like that, and you know he has a lot of confidence in that here right now. And with two strikes on him, Denard Span, he's going to have to shorten the swing. And it holds at 0 and 2. And that swung on and hit. Rios. That's two gone. Now up to the plate for the Minnesota Twins. Center fielder. And it's Delman Young at the plate. Two for three thus far. Well, look for them to keep an eye and hold him close at first base here. He's fast. They're going to try to get him in scoring position to see if they can't get back in the ballgame. We'll see Canerco holding him in there. Swing and a rocket towards short. And that's going to be a base hit. Tying run is on. Brought to you by State Farm, our league leaderboard. The team's doing the best job of keeping runs off the board. The White Sox, number one. The Red Sox in second. Third, the Mariners. Yankees, fourth. And at number five, he swings and nails a liner. And he's there to retire the Sox. So, here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Dean. And he has to be happy with the work on the mound, especially that last inning. Insurance runs so important. Headed for the middle. And it gets down a three for four game. Good hitting job. Well, just what his team needed. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. Here is the opportunity for the youngster Gordon Beckham. Runner on first. Here's the first pitch. Last ball in there for a called strike. Hitters have to have great balance and be prepared for the pitch away. If you open up even a little bit, you can't catch up to that four-seam fastball on the outside corner. Line towards third and foul. Good ball got him one away. Now up to the plate. I'll tell you that kind of that kind of breaking ball in the low 80s is awfully tough to hit. Number 51. It's Alex Rios. Rios. And the first pitch. And that's a hit span the field. Now it's two down. Now That's a big time power hitters right here. Some guys that look to drive the ball out of the ballpark and swing hard in case they hit it. When they make contact, they can do some serious damage. Runner on first, two away. Fastball, swung out and missed, 0 and 1. Here it comes. Line drive left to the bag and foul. Well hit towards the middle. And Hardy picks it up. And he'll step on the bag. That'll do it. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Up next, it'll be the Twins. So Michael Kadaya leads it off. Lined out in his last at bat. Michael Kadaya. First pitch to Kadaya. Towards the middle. Bedard. One away. The cat like reflexes on the mound allow him to grab that ball in a hurry to retire the runner at first base. Smash towards the hole. And Canerco makes the catch. And it's J.J. Hardy now. Got a couple of RBIs thus far. Well, he's dropped the hammer on him with the bat in his hand today, driving in some runs, but he's also dropped the hammer on defense, making some nice plays. Base is empty with two outs. Bedard gets set and delivers. Hit on the ground towards second. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Well, that's one way to keep it. Here's a quick glimpse of Ron Gardenhire. And at this point in this game, thinking about offense, I'm sure he also needs some quality pitching. He's got to give his bats a chance to get back. Up the middle. 
And that one's through for a base hit. Second hit in the game. 500 today. Now Here are the players with a little something extra. Extra base hit leaders this month. Courtesy of State Farm. Now Jim Tomey. The pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. One away. As a third baseman, you have to be on the balls of your feet and react as the ball crosses the plate as it gets on you quickly. He has some kind of reactions down there. Here is Johnny Damon. First pitch on the way to Damon. Damon will foul that one away. Hot shot towards the hole. That's one. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. Well, quick release by the third baseman. They get the lead runner at second, just not able to turn the double play. So, Alexei Ramirez is batting. Gary, they know Damon can steal here. They better keep an eye on him. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0-1. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Hit sharply towards the hole. And it goes through. That's a base hit. And now a three for five day. Good game. Oh, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Third in doubles. Third most in hits. Uh, he, you'll notice he's also ranked in the top five in batting average. A guy that puts it in play, finds holes, and finds a way to get himself on base. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Here's the pitch. A line drive towards short. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. White Sox five, Minnesota three. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. He's got his sights on a quick finish here. This one winding down. First pitch on the way. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Uh, pitching wise, you want to make them earn it, force them to get a base hit right here, force them to put it in play, throw strikes. Oh! Swung on, and that's foul back. Fastball in there, called third strike. One up. They made it look easy right there, and slicing and dicing, just attacking the strike zone. Three pitches, all for strikes, sitting out. And the first pitch. Shot towards the hole. Well, not a bad pitch right there, down and away in the strike zone, but this guy absolutely loves that pitch in that spot, and he drove that ball to get on base. First pitch. Here's the delivery. Don't strike on a fastball, and it's 0-2. The pitcher has him right where he wants him, on the defensive. He could try to throw it out of the zone and get him to chase. Still on two. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0 2 count. He won. Now, here's a grounder towards the hole, and the tying run is on. Coming well, that back. pitch down and away is the no toughest in the game to hit. It's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. Keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Ball! And Span will watch that one up high. Well, he's, he's over the 80 pitch mark right. Ground ball, Creedy. Got one. On the first, safe. Can't get the back end of that one. Let's see what the RBI means for their win of chances. Our Pepsi WPA graph. Like it's very interesting right now. That huge at bat cuts the lead to one. Now let's see where this thing goes. And Delman Young in. Big time production. That's a very important inning, and the offense knows it. Well, we know this offense can turn it around when they need to, Gary. Right now, they need to open things up for one more run. This is the problem right here. You just don't have the outs to work with. We'll see whether or not they've got it in the bats.
No balls. One strike. Here's Bedard. Strike two. And it's 0-2 in the Camarilla cutter. Delman Young. He'll be swinging at anything close. Hit on the ground. This could be the end. Ramirez. A nice play on that one. And on to first for out number three. And that's going to do it. Well, Gary, Chicago comes away the victors in this one. They played good all around solid baseball with contributions from many players. As we check out the highlight reels of our Pepsi Clutch performer, well, any starting pitcher will tell you that the last thing he wants to ever have to do is to turn the game over to the bullpen. They like to finish what they start, and that's exactly what he did today. He had all his pitches working, and he had complete command of the strike zone out there. He kept his lineup in check the entire game and finished it strong. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Well, no question about it. They get the win in a close game, a lot of excitement and enthusiasm, and ready for the next one. And until next time, this is Gary Thorne, along with John Crockett, Steve Phillips. We'll catch you at the yard.